Hey guys, what's up? This is Seth from the RE Tipster blog. In this video, I want to let you know about a tool I discovered a little while back that is just unbelievably helpful. And it's not a free tool. It's something that you actually have to download and integrate with Google Earth. But when you see what it can do, I think you'll see what I mean and that in a lot of cases, it may very well be worth paying money for this because it's just like staggering how much information it can provide and how useful it can be depending on what part of the country you work in it. So as you can see right here, I've got Google Earth pulled up and there's a website called Real Estate Portal. And the first time I heard about this website was probably about a year or so ago because because they have this app that's called Land Glide that you can go ahead and download for your iPhone or your Droid. And basically it's a mobile app that you can use to do high level property research on a lot of different areas in the country. And the reason I didn't find it particularly helpful was because usually when I'm doing this research, I'm sitting down on my desktop computer and it's a lot easier to do it that way. I don't really use my phone when I'm doing that kind of work. However, there is a different product they have, which is called Parlay 2.0. This is a similar product, but what it does is it gives you a downloadable file called a KMZ file. And a KMZ file is basically just a collection of KML files. <laughs> and a KML file, if you're not familiar with that, is a file that can be integrated with Google Earth to put all kinds of different overlays over the map. So you could see like parcel information, you could see buildings, you can see like image overlays, you can see power grids, water lines, all all kinds of stuff can be used with KML files. But the reason that I would use a KML file is mostly to find where parcel lines are and then find just some basic information about those parcels. And that's exactly what this can do. And in order to get this, you actually have to register for an account, which is very easy. You just give them your email address and a password. It's a pretty straightforward procedure. I've already got an account, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in and show you how this works. So once you're logged in, you can go ahead and click here. And what it's going to do is it's going to download this KMZ file. And once you've got that file, you can go over here to Google Earth. And then in Google Earth, we're going to go up here to File, Open. And then we're going to find that file that we just downloaded and go ahead and open it. So this is where it is right here. And now what's happened here, if we go down here to Places, click on this. What this is going to do is show us a lot of different layers that have just been added to Google Earth because of this Parlay KMZ file that we just added. When you first sign up for your account and download this, I think it's like a 14-day free trial that you get. And after that, if you want access to it, you can either pay monthly for it or annually for it. And I think the annual subscription is about, yeah, the annual subscription is $299.99 per year. So $300 a year. Or if you want to pay quarterly, it's $100 per quarter. So it's not necessarily free or cheap. However, I want to show you what this does because it's pretty remarkable. This is basically a massive set of data that we've just imported to Google Earth. And the way that this works is that this real estate portal has different sets of information for most of the counties in the United States. And it's a lot of information. I mean, parcel IDs, owner names, property addresses, mailing addresses, I mean, lots of different stuff. And it, it kind of varies a little bit depending on the county. Some of the counties have more data than others. But I wanna just show you what this looks like. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And if we go to really just any county here, let's find one, I don't know, in Illinois and see what we got. Everywhere you see these little green outlines, those are counties where Parlay is giving you a set of data. So if we just pick this one here, we'll zoom in. Okay, now these squares you see here are the different townships, I believe. And if we zoom in further here, let's just, I don't know, go here. And once we get close enough, we start to see these parcel lines. And if we just go ahead and click on any one of these, right? Let's just click on this one, for example. This is telling us the name of the owner, the acreage of the property, zip code, legal description, the mailing address of this owner. And then if we want to, we could go ahead and click on this parcel ID number. And sometimes I've actually found that usually I get this message where it doesn't actually link me directly to the county's website, where it gives more information about that property, but it explains what you can do to go ahead and, and try to do that. So sometimes it'll link directly to that county's website 
website, though usually from what I've seen, it just shows you this little page. But even absent more information, I mean, this little set of data is actually like very, very helpful. And the cool thing is, rather than you having to go ahead and manually draw these lines on here with the polygon tool, which is the free way to do it, you've actually got these property lines right here. And you can go ahead and do this kind of thing and look at it on an angle. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and draw the polygon line on top of those lines right there. And it would basically just be a much simpler, easier way to make sure you're getting those lines as close as possible to reality. And the cool thing is here, let's go ahead and, and zoom out. And I mean, there is a lot of information here. If we go back here to the website and we go here to the products page and then click on this and then we can see this map right here. This actually shows us all the coverage in the country. So some of these counties don't have any data, but everywhere where you see that it's green, they've got these sets of data where it doesn't necessarily have everything, but it has a lot of information that's gonna be very useful to you. So another reason why this could be really helpful is, I know sometimes in my home state, for example, there have been a number of counties that I basically have refused to work in because the county does not provide any GIS mapping system. Or if they do, it's something I have to like buy from them directly and then they have to send it to me. I know sometimes I've seen prices of like 1500 bucks just for one KML file from one county. Whereas with this system, it gives me a lot of that information for almost every county out there. And in terms of just getting those GIS maps, which are extremely important in my profession as a land investor, because without those parcel lines, I don't really know where the property is that I'm getting. And this provides that in many of the counties out there. Say if we were to go up here, uh, let's check out uh, Traverse City, see what kind of information we can pull up here. And this is a county, I've actually never even worked here before, but some of the information it'll give you, assuming that information is in the database, is everywhere where you see a house here, that means the property is zoned residential. Everywhere you see a shopping cart, I believe that means it's zoned commercial. In any place you see this little box with an X in it, I think that's usually like some kind of state or government owned property. So just really helpful information. And from my perspective, one of the most important things on here is just being able to see those property lines and then also see the ownership of it. And when the information is available, seeing the mailing addresses of the owners and the acreage. And sometimes you'll even see like the transfer of value and the transfer date and all kinds of stuff here that's really helpful. So depending on what state and what county you're working in and what information you need access to versus the information that's available for free online, this could be a super, super helpful thing to use in your business. When it comes to property research and just finding out some of the basic information about certain lots or properties, before you buy them. I mean, this could just be immensely helpful. And given that the information is available in so many places around the country and the annual cost is about 300 bucks, I mean, honestly, I think that's kind of a steal. I've talked to several counties that charge thousands for the data just in their county. And I think if you're working in one county all the time and that's all you ever work, then it may be worth it. But if you're like me, where you're working in multiple counties, sometimes multiple states all over the country, and you need more of a broader scope of just some basic information. This could be a super, super helpful tool to have at your disposal in your business. And the price is really not that bad. So anyway, I just wanted to make sure you knew about that really helpful resource. And I'm definitely not getting paid by this company to tell you this stuff. I just found it a while ago and thought it was seriously viable for pretty much anybody who's working in the same kind of business that I am, whether it's just real estate investing or property research or land investing in general. And uh, I think it's pretty awesome. And if it's something you're going to use on a regular basis, Basis, the cost is really not that bad when you think about all the information it brings to the table. So hopefully that's something you can put to work in your business. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.